Welcome to the Bio Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview on biological data analyses as part of bioinformatics processing. Data science and cyber industries are part of the growing big data, artificial intelligence and automation movement that is sweeping through all verticals of research, engineering and the sciences. The enormous challenge posed by the complexity of biological systems represents a potential intellectual impasse to researchers at parallels, what we see in other businesses and sector where data is king. The low supply and high demand has led to research institutes employing in-house data scientists and bioinformaticians especially those skilled at processing biological data and perform analyses. What is biological data analyses? Taken simply, it is a scientific approach that combines analytical tools and biological content to build deep and broad understanding of biological relationships. Often, various appropriate web tools, software or databases are used and researchers apply systematic analyses to process the data. The outcome is the translation of the understanding to actionable insights and concrete hypotheses. Researchers can then make informed decisions, generate well-formed, testable hypotheses or design follow-up experiments. In essence, researchers aim to evaluate if identified genes are capable of acting as modules to assess their impact on higher-level biological processes and phenotypes, meaning linking the cause to the effect, and in doing so provides a broader biological picture for researchers. In terms of biological analysis and interpretation for improved research outcomes, there exists a critical need to implement solutions that enable researchers to effectively sort through and better understand their data outputs to translate data into actionable information and insights. We see technological advances and integration of omics platforms changing the way life scientists perform research. Accumulating massive dataset needs to be accompanied with meaningful processing and interpretation to derive actionable biological insights. In short, making sense and forming conclusions of the massive research data collected. When dealing with large data sets being interpreted such as whole genome or exome resequencing studies or RNA-Sac experiments, researchers being too specialized on their area or subdiscipline might not be the best person to explore important potential causal relationships, which might be easily be overlooked. Complex cause and effect or net effects relationships of differentially expressed genes, deleterious or dominant mutations could be missed out without systematically processing the gathered data set. Data analyses for biology is still computational biology at its roots where it will be essential to have knowledge on command line. This makes it more difficult for researchers to obtain a systems level understanding of the impacted biology. Given the breadth and volume of data involved, manually assembling related connections to genes, diseases and other interesting biology is time-consuming. An integrated overview of all pathways, or molecular interactions, or biological processes tends to be missed out especially when researchers look at individual processes. Network-level analyses or systems-level understanding of the impacted biology will provide much more insightful knowledge than single pathway process or a singular facet being analyzed. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. With that out of the way, let's continue the discussion. Bioinformatics, a field devoted to the interpretation and analysis of biological data using computational techniques, has evolved tremendously in recent years due to the explosive growth of biological information generated by the scientific community. Data analysis covers in fact covers a broad scope. Some of the areas or scope are listed and they include biomarker identification, attempted biological modeling, image analyses, Combining statistical data and programming insights often help to enhance the data visualization process. In other words, helping to make sense of the data and making data more obvious and organized. It can be applied in many aspects. Structural biology analyses of proteins and other macromolecules benefit greatly from data science tools and comprehensive databases 
hosted publicly by domains such as NCBI and Swissport for instance. Let's take for example biomarker identification. It is about summarizing the important bits of the large data sets obtained from modern technologies, such as chip sequencing, microarrays and other approaches. Researchers aim to see through these data to identify candidates of interest for future studies to be conducted. Often, differentially regulated genes or unique expression traits of interest are being picked up for downstream validation. Hypothesis will be formed to help test and formulate a plausible explanation for the observed phenomenon. Many research studies in fact over the past decade picked up important candidate biomarkers of interest to help facilitate disease screening, diagnosis and therapy. Researchers may often ask the following questions. What are the key players? What are the known interactions? What are the top pathways involved in the data set? For instance, in this paper, computational identification of biomarker genes involved in cancer are identified from expression databases between control and reference group. In this paper, differentially expressed genes were sorted out using various tools, such as our software tools and Cytoscape apps. Identified genes have value in their potential prognostic capabilities for further validation. A cornerstone of any modeling approach is the recognition that biological systems are dynamic entities exhibiting complex, dynamic behavior that results from the combinatorial expression of their myriad components. One of the earliest examples of biological modeling is in the area of cell signaling research, able to put individual components as modular pieces in a pathway that makes sense. In fact, a pathway map is not static. Rather multiple pathway maps integrate to give a very dynamic picture of biological or life processes in action. For models to be successful in fulfilling their role as intellectual frameworks for the synthesis of new knowledge, it is essential that the chosen modeling system be transparent and flexible. Flexibility refers to it being free of any significant constraints on scope and resolution or any a priori hypotheses. Transparency is about having collaborative capabilities from various research inputs. Contributing to good science and making existing science better. Biological data is accumulating at an unprecedented rate, escalating the role of data-driven methods in research across biotechnology subdisciplines. Machine learning algorithms, which are optimized for huge data sets are consistently beating the predictive performance by human experts. With cross-training new generation of researchers with bioinformatics and data analysis skills as the core, systematic analyses of biological datasets permits meaningful observations and discoveries from a wide array of data from biological, pharmaceutical and clinical domains. Integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning will further improve the ability to handle challenging data analysis problems where noisy and incomplete data exist. Together, scientists can achieve greater success in biological discovery with robustness and reproducibility where data visualization is critical. See you in our next video. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates.